Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. And still! Of course, when you lose a fight, especially, you know, a title fight, you very disappointed after. You know, I need to keep training and keep improving what I did wrong in the last fight. The fans will see a guy hungry to come back to a title contention. I know I have the conditioning and the technique to be a UFC champion. No one can do what I can do in this sport right now. Oh, oh, he's, getting back fist. he's got that rear naked choke. He's got to get the tap here. Right, and right, there right, it is. Right, it's just another stepping stone to the title. I'm going to go out there and put Damian Maia to sleep, and then I'm going to retire Tyrone Woodley next. I don't believe I'm the best in the world. I know I'm the best in the world. And it's because I'm well-rounded. No one has the well-rounded skills that I have. My wrestling, I dictate where any fight goes. Coming to go right to work. My striking, it's a completely different level than all these guys right now. Oh, it's great team with an behind left. And my jiu-jitsu is, I'm going to show you against Damian Maia, is on a different level. We may be looking at a rear naked choke here. He's going to get the tap. And there it is, another finish for Colby Covington. My goals in the UFC is to be the greatest welterweight fighter of all time. I think my game is very dangerous for any opponent. I'm a guy who does not too many things during the fight, but the things that I do, I do pretty well. Some of the best jujitsu you will ever see in MMA from that man right there. I always go to a submission. I always go to finish a fight. I'm gonna retire these guys. This ain't talk. I walk the walk. And I, I do truly believe that I will be the greatest in welterweight of all time. I'm gonna take him down and submit him. <laughs>